Hey everyone, back today, fossil hunting again on the coast. Uh, I'm at Robin Hood's Bay today, uh, exploring an area I've never been to before. So walking along the rocky foreshore of Robin Hood's Bay, uh, working around this headland here uh, to see what we can find and give you all an idea of where we are. Uh, Ravenscar is that headland over there where I was not too long ago, where the seal colony is. Uh, you come back around and Boggle Hole is along the beach here and the sandy beach in front which was filled with people at the minute because as you can probably tell the weather is stunning. Uh, and then we've got Robin Hood's Bay just here, this sort of village perched at the edge of the sea. Uh, it's the end of the Easter holidays in the UK so uh, everyone is out making the most of what can only be described as stunning weather uh, after a couple of days of rain and some more coming in the next few days. So, uh, it's going to be busy. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to find, lots of shells and things so far. Uh, but as we continue to walk along, just check out all of this stuff. Uh, keep working that way uh, towards the Whitby direction uh, and see what we can find. I'm not really here for the shells, but it's tough to not appreciate a block kind of like this. Just, just incredible the amount of diversity of shells on it uh, and just the size of the block. So that may not look very big, but let me put my foot down for comparison. Yeah, it's a massive block. Look at this. This is a piece of the foreshore and just loaded with bellum knights, shells. Ah, oh, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Piece of wood, more bellum knights. <laughs> I've just been getting worried that uh, I've not seen many ammonites or ammonite pieces. And uh, yeah, saw this. And this is not a little piece. This is a beautiful big chunk of something. Uh, I don't know what it is, um, but I suspect it's quite rare based on its size. Um, unfortunately, I suspect the middle will be gone because um, it looks like it's been flattened. Although there looks like there might still be some in here, just a bit squished. Uh, so we'll take this back, uh, although <laughs> as you can see by the size of my hammer, uh, my first ammonite here, I'm starting with a big one. Not going to complain about that really, am I? Sweet! So this is one of the uh, sort of nodules I'd look at hitting anywhere else in the Yorkshire Curse. So I hit it, as you can see from the damage. Um, and all of these ironstone nodules are very septarian in uh, Robin Hood's Bay. I, I don't know the reason behind it, but the septarians are beautiful. Um, but no fossils. So it's just as I'm learning what to rocks to look for here, uh, what nodules to hit. I just thought I'd show this one off because I thought it was a nice a nice example of these beautiful septarians. I talked a bit about it before. If you're struggling to find things in a new location, have a look at what uh, other people might have found. Because this here, it's a nice little ammonite uh, imprint. Someone's obviously split. So uh, one of the ironstone nodules. They just have had a hit at something. Uh, maybe they've seen the outside of it. So it's good to know. Uh, apologies I've been collecting off camera, but uh, I was eating my lunch, so I thought you didn't want to see me chewing on a sandwich whilst trying to do this. But some nice pieces of fossil wood, so you can actually see the individual grain on this piece of wood. Uh, and again, similarly with the little bit here, you can actually see all of the grain on the wood. So, beautiful. We've got a couple of large winch cables down here and the main engine just in here. Uh, I'm going to just have a look around that head up there. I think it might be a turnaround point. Uh, not a lot of fossils to show, but one really big one, so not going to complain at that. So the reason that Robin Hood's Bay is a bit unusual is it exposes what we call the lower lias, or the lowermost part of the Jurassic rocks. Uh, and these aren't exposed anywhere else in the Whitby area. And the result of this is we get some rare ammonites. The history of this event can be traced back to about 70 million years ago. The rocks in the area were pushed up and over those last 70 million years the rocks on the top have eroded these middle and upper lias rocks and it leaves these lower lias unusual exposures that can be traced and found in the Robin Hood's Bay area. As you go around that headland in the last clip you end up getting back into these middle and upper lias rocks and then you start finding those fossils that you've seen in the other videos things like dex just hit that one nice little split just on the way back not done a lot of filming unfortunately so you won't see too many of the finds until later uh, but a few ammonites a few bits and pieces uh, to add to that really big one earlier I must apologize because it's been a fairly short video uh, I know there haven't been a lot of finds and in fact most of the finds here uh, came from far later in the 
the wall. So Robin Hood's Bay is famous for being hard to find good ammonites at. Uh, that's part of its joy. It means that anything you find tends to be a lot rarer just because of the age. So most of the finds from near Robin Hood's Bay are these shells here. Um, I just thought they looked beautiful. And in fact, I think they are like, really beautiful. So beautiful little pair of shells. Something like scallops today. Um, so when you then wander from Robin Hood's Bay towards Whitby, you start to get to uh, different set of rocks back to what we expect from the Whitby coast. Uh, and that's when you start to find things like Dactylioceros specimens. You get little nodules that have little uh, lobster claws in them. So a little lobster claw there. Uh, not a very good one, but a nice, a nice thing just to be able to show off. Uh, a nice DAC in a big iron lump. Uh, and what I thought was a DAC when I uh, went to hit it, and it's actually uh, a lovely Paranoceros. And you can see the little lumps or the nodes around the top. So it's a nice little Paranoceros, uh, fairly complete. The star, however, obviously is uh, this thing, which is huge. So a big uh, ammonite, this is a Lytoceros. Uh, relatively rare uh, across the Yorkshire coast uh, as well as at Robin Hood's Bay. So I'm organizing at the minute to try and get this prepped. I think the middle should be all here. Uh, if you look at the side, you can see there is a band where my little finger is that wraps around and um, that comes around here, uh, which will be the inner parts of the ammonite. So I'm hopeful that the middle will be there, uh, although apparently Robin Hood's Bay, most of them are compressed and in fact, I mean, you can see the shell here is 3D, it flattens a little bit through this section here. Um, so we'll have to see um, when I get this off to prep um, whether or not all of this here is actually complete. So I think, I think there should be at least some shell through the middle, it's just how thick it is and what quality it is, uh, we'll have to see. But I'm hopeful it'll be something useful and something nice in there. So that's the little hole. Uh, you can't complain too much. Been a fun day. Nice to get back out. Hopefully out again tomorrow to get down to Saltwick. Cheers all.